Hi everyone, my name's Ali Sanchez and I'm a traditional herbalist working for my clinic here in the beautiful Blue Mountains just outside of Sydney and I'm here today to talk to you about a herb that has been used by herbalists both ancient and not so ancient and that that is licorice root. Now licorice root is a moist, sweet, restoring herb that has both soothing and relaxing properties. It's also very high in magnesium, uh, iron, um, chromium, cobalt, silicon and silica. So it makes it perfect for so many different body systems. Now, for example, the respiratory system. Now, if you have somebody who has that dry, unproductive cough, licorice gets in there and helps the body to just expel all that junk. It can be used for anything from like asthma, the dry cough, right through to emphysema. So it really is a beautiful herb to use for the lungs. In fact, did you know that children in London during the heavy smogs used to actually chew on the licorice roots? And I have no doubt that this would have prevented cases of asthma or any other sort of respiratory condition because they're taking this beautiful restorative tonic through that whole time. You know, kids really are quite clever. Now, um, licorice root can also be used in um, like digestive support. It helps to open the channels for that vital force to come in and balance out the system. Now, we use it in cases of like malabsorption, um, cases of fatigue with also um, tapping into the adrenals. It's great for those sort of people who really do struggle to put on weight. It's also like a good um, hormone balancer, particularly in cases of estrogen deficiency. So if you see anyone who has like menopausal symptoms, um, they may also have um, PMS, particularly but also is in combined with like the dry skin. Um, it's used for like infertility, right through to even cases of depression can be helped with this herb and its balancing effect. Also, um, as a digestive herb as well, I use it in cases of people who might be quite chronically constipated and I want to put them on a, like a detox or like a fasting program, I'll make them up a mix just to take at night, which will contain, you know, the well-known laxatives like Senna or Cascara, but I also put um, uh, licorice in there as well and something like chamomile just to really soothe those sort of real cramping effects that come for when you're really shifting the waist out of somebody's body. And this really is um, like the tip of the iceberg of licorice. It's quite a diverse herb. It can also be used in cases like with ulcers or hyperacetic conditions or even like helps support bone health. But what I'd just like to finish off with is cases that we shouldn't use this beautiful herb in. And that's cases, you know, that might include things like um, hypertension, uh, high, you know, like high, high blood pressure, um, water retention, hypoglycemia, just anything really that has those kind of secretory, real moist conditions as well. And just lastly, don't forget autoimmune conditions. Licorice is a great herb to use in them, particularly um, uh, rheumatoid arthritis. And also for allergies as well. But I really am starting to talk too much. So if you don't already have licorice root in your dispensary, you know what you have to do. You've got to call the Herbal Extract Company, order your bottle, and just get onto this really diverse, amazing herb. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day.